In this forecast, a geomagnetic storm could hit Earth again tonight that could bring more spectacular northern lights. There is also a significant flooding potential coming to portions of the United States on Friday, and the tropics may be getting very active very soon. We have the latest details for you and more in this forecast. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast. Let's begin with that chance for some northern lights again tonight. Now, some areas did not see it last night. The areas that actually did are in this green region, which is primarily from Montana, the Dakotas, as well as Minnesota. The issue was, though, last night, there was a lot of cloud cover back up in the northern plains, so a lot of these areas did not see it. But a good area that saw a lot of auroras last night was Banff, uh, Canada, which is over in Alberta. So there was actually a good amount of auroras occurring there, a lot of dancing auroras uh, tonight. Tonight will be kind of a similar story. A lot of the areas that we saw yesterday are still included in today's potential to maybe see some northern lights between about 9 to 3 o'clock tonight. Again, that's going to be your best chance to see some northern lights and maybe some dancing auroras. Now, the green areas representing your highest chance for this evening into the overnight hours between, again, 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. is probably going to be your best shot. Uh, that would include, again, the Dakotas, Minnesota, and as well as northern Wisconsin. However, those areas, again, tonight likely going to see more storm activity from a positively tilted trough. It is likely going to impact your overall chances of seeing the northern lights again tonight uh different story though down to further to the south you can see nebraska all the way even through portions of northern new england in that kind of medium threat that's in that yellow shaded region you may see some auroras it's gonna be kind of a 50 50 chance for you you might you might not it's gonna again depend on how intense this solar storm is and just further down to the south of that that red shaded area does include southern new england and even through as far south actually as extreme northern oklahoma in a very low chance now i would not bet on seeing anything tonight again Again, last night was kind of a bust for some areas, but some areas like, like the Northern Plains were able to see some of the auroras out in the distance. So again, I would not, you know, be trying to stay up all night to see this, but you might be able to, especially if you're back off further to north with good weather. All right, let's take a look at that flash flooding potential for tomorrow. There's going to be a significant amount of rain, unfortunately, in the southwestern states. That does include Arizona as well as southwestern New Mexico, and that will also continue through the day three outlook going into the following day on Saturday. And unfortunately, we are potentially forecasting several inches of rain and that could again lead to flash flooding concerns across these states again primarily from southwestern new mexico into southeastern arizona again turn around do not drown if you're going on the roadways all right let's take a look at the tropics there is one area of development right now over the yucatan that is going to be moving into the gulf of mexico now there are two scenarios to this one scenario is if the system is able to track further off to the north potentially towards areas like texas or louisiana this could become a tropical storm or or even a little bit worse than that. Beyond that, though, if this just goes the general direction of what's forecasted as of right now, most likely towards Mexico or extreme southern Texas, it is likely to become nothing more than a tropical oppression. As currently a forecasted probability of 30% over the next five days of developing, it will be a system to watch closely, but overall, chances of it developing seem to be low as of right now. All right, let's take a look at the tropics outside of that into the Atlantic Ocean. There's been a lot of talk on YouTube recently and just some people posting that there's going to be several hurricanes coming. I'm not forecasting that as of right now no reason to panic just make sure you're prepared if anything does come your way but as of right now the gfs model for example only indicating one little system maybe very early next month and again that is so far out we can't really forecast that as of right now but so far we've seen a very spectacular hurricane season to say the least not really anything so far other than the first couple of months back back in uh, june as well as even into uh july we saw a couple of named storms but beyond that there's been nothing it's been a very good hurricane season to say the least so far now, let's take a look at that severe weather potential for today there are a couple of marginal threats today nothing too crazy to be concerned about but a little marginal threat from southwest minnesota through northern portions of kansas there's also another one along the gulf coast main concerns today damaging winds maybe some isolated large hail i can't let a brief land spout back up in the central plains but that threat seems to be pretty low today here's a look at the timing we'll start to see storms firing up down in southeast texas this afternoon most likely as early as one to two o'clock by five to six o'clock we'll start to see storms moving down to the south and east a lot of these could shoot off outflow boundaries because so there could be some more storms in these areas. But overall, most of these storms will cover a large area of southeast Texas and as well as Louisiana. Here's a look at that timing over near Louisiana this afternoon. Storms will fire up back near Alexandria, moving down to the south toward Baton Rouge, as well as Lafayette and Lake Charles. By about 5 to 6 o'clock, storms down near the coastline, eventually going in closer to the late evening to overnight hours. Most of these areas will clear out for your evening and overnight. Here's a look at the severe potential for tomorrow. So on Friday, there's currently a marginal threat of severe weather that doesn't 
include areas from Iowa back down through Kansas. Main concerns as of right now, damaging winds, isolated large hail. I cannot, again, rule out a brief land spot, but that, again, threat seems to be pretty low as of right now. Here's a look at that timing. We'll start to see some storms firing up during the afternoon hours. These will move off to the east. Again, main threat is most likely going to be hail and damaging winds. Eventually going closer to 10 to 11 o'clock. Storms move off to the east. Eventually into the overnight hours, maybe some scattered showers still remaining, but severe weather is not expected after then. And by the way, a huge cool down is coming next week. If you've not already heard, especially to the southern plains, temperatures across all of the United States, other than the west coast and anywhere in California, are really primarily going to be 90 or less on Wednesday. And also Florida, also another exception. That's typical. But as of right now, you can see Wednesday of next week, temperatures across the northern plains, anywhere in the northeast, 70s, maybe some low 80s, back down into Texas, into the 80s for almost the entire state. A crazy pattern change is coming next week. Again, we'll cover more on that in our next forecast. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Like the video if you've not already. This forecast is brought to you by Potom Contracting and All Dense Repair.